Hey guys, Brad M73 here. We're back with another kind of a extra bits episode of the Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon series. And as you can see, the hold, oops, I got my air compressor on still. So, um, the hold area has changed quite considerably since the last, oh, <laughs> since the last time I did any filming. Um, I've actually gone ahead and weathered the floor. Uh, I think I'm just going to kind of stick with this floor for right now uh, until I can really get a good look at some of the flooring that's available from Shapeways. Um, let's see here. I basically just used flat black, um, which I have sitting around somewhere. Actually, it's right, it's right up here. Um, Tamiya flat black XF1. And what I did was I essentially painted it on. I, I mainly painted it down into these little cracks and pretty heavily through here. And then what I did was I took a paper towel, just like a dry paper towel, um, and just constantly rubbed it. Now, one of the things that I would notice, and you can probably see over here, now this over here is gonna be covered up anyway, so it's not really gonna make that big of a deal. But on the top of these plates, I would get a lot of this type of a, a thicker buildup of the black. And so what I actually needed to do was get some, uh, some isopropyl alcohol, or you might even use some uh, paint thinner, um, some lacquer thinner, something like that. But I just use the isopropyl alcohol, put a little tiny drop or two on a paper towel, and then just essentially rubbed like right in the center of these squares. And it took a long time. And sometimes I had thicker buildup, and I'd actually have to just kind of rub it around and put it on pretty thick. So, um, yeah, um, I also went through with the, um, the creative effects. Oh, I don't have the, well, actually I'm going to be using this. I was, I was just using it cause I was kind of finishing up a couple little washes here. And as you can see, um, I've washed, uh, some of the, the top bits. Now I have yet to go across these dials with a, um, uh, like an aluminum color, but hopefully maybe, I don't know if I'll get to that this episode, but I might do that off screen. And I've got the bed finished in there and I don't think I've glued the, yeah, I haven't glued this down yet. So that will be also something I'll probably end up doing off screen. Um, but just ha got that done. Now, another thing I, I did and actually really what I, well, actually let me, before I get to that, um, I've pretty much completed this couch to how I want it, I guess. Um, I still want something to go over here and I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna make something with putty or really what I'm gonna do. But I've gone through, I did the backing um, and you know, just kind of filled that in with the wash. And so you can kind of see how that turned out. I think I still need over here on this side, I'm gonna to need to uh, touch that up a little bit more, hit that with some thinner and then rewash that. Um, another thing I did was I painted the, um, the main computer platform here. Um, I painted that, that ocean gray, I think it is, uh, ocean gray two RAF, which is the XF 82. It's the exact same color I'm using for the walls, but, um, looking at a lot of the production photos that I've seen, um, it really does look like that is the color that they're using um, for the console. Cause I mean, it look, when I see color images, this actually looks like the exact same color. Um, I still haven't, uh, installed like the little levers or the, the little console readout or the, the panel here. Uh, now I did go ahead and I repainted the panel. Uh, I repainted that, um, what did I, a German gray. It's like a really dark gray. Um, I also masked this off. Um, let's see if I can, Get it up closer here. Um, I actually masked all of this off using frog tape um, and repainted that everything up here, uh, the German uh, gray as well. Uh, and I think it actually turned out a little bit better. Uh, and I've just kind of weathered this up a little bit. And I mean, you can see how small, I mean, that's like my finger, how small this, this piece is. So it's, it's pretty tough getting, and I'm, I'm going to make sure that I get things in focus this time. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty difficult getting some of those detailed areas in, but I think generally I'm pretty pleased or I'm very pleased with the way this flooring turned out. It might look a little bit dark. 
It actually looked kind of dark to the eye, but I, I guess that's really what I want. And um, yeah. But the other thing I, I wanted to kind of move forward with is this wall, the, the kind of like the back hold wall and get some of these hoses and things like that installed. Uh, get these two pieces glued in finally and um, kind of move on with that because that was something that I passed up many episodes ago. I do have this inner, uh, the inner ring here um, uh, glued in place. Now, I, all I did was just uh, use some of the, the acrylic wash on the doorway or on the walls to kind of give it like a grungy look. Like, you know, we've got years of grease and gunk and condensation buildup. And the kind of the same goes for the, uh, the little access. Ah, eh, come on, focus. Is it going to focus? Yeah, the, the uh, corridor ring there, I've also done that. Now, I still have yet to glue in this piece, which is going to go in here. And I'm really kind of scared about doing this, but I guess I will eventually just have to bite the bullet and do it um, so that that's in there. And uh, I think do I have it. I think I have it backwards because on one of the sides, some of the little sprue bits are a little bit easy, you know, more visible, I guess, than uh, they should be. So um, let's see, without further ado, I'm just going to kind of get some of this stuff out of the way. This piece right here, let's, hello. I have my camera kind of like right between my legs. <laughs> and uh, um, so it's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, but you want this piece right here, like this, with the little uh, hole on the upper right-hand side. And I actually went through and, and painted it kind of a metallic color. And then I went back through, or no, actually, I think I painted it, I think I painted this German gray first, the really dark gray. And then I think I actually went over it really lightly with... Uh, kind of like a silver or aluminum, I'm not sure which. I have titanium silver, and I also have flat aluminum. So it was one of these two. I, I want to say it might have been the titanium silver, because um, I wanted to give this a bit more of a metallic look, like it looks in the movie. I know some of the people uh, have just kept it the standard color or have been painting it all kinds of different things. So I wanted mine to, to try to be as much like I, you know, I can remember it from the movie. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that into place and we'll just plop down some super glue there. Nothing special. This goes right in and bam -oh. Hopefully that's setting all the way down. And if not, I'll find out later, I'm sure. Hello. Okay, let's get this back into focus. Focus, people. Zoom in there a little bit. Okay. The next piece uh, is going to be, again, just more super glue. Ah! Oh, gosh, that's not good. I must have put way more super glue in there than I had wanted. Okay, so that's like probably never, ever, ever, ever going anywhere. And it's stuck to my thumb. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Now, down here, I actually got a little bit extra super glue. There's a little bit right there. Um, that's actually not going to be too much of a problem because once we have our... Um, piece right there it's not gonna make a difference so um what i actually need to do is i need to look at the uh, issue that has us putting in all those pipes and I, honestly i can't okay there's issue six it's not issue six i don't think it's issue seven no is it issue eight? I don't think it's issue eight. It is not issue eight. Actually, issue eight deals with the console, but I don't want to do that yet. 
Uh, there's six. Okay, there's that one. Okay, so it's probably like nine or ten, which I'm up to. Nope, issue nine is all the greeblies on the outside of the cockpit tube. Issue ten is uh, corridor rings. Okay, issue ten is the one that deals with the main corridor ring, the padded inner ring, and then gluing these two pieces into place. Now, I'm not going to put in the padded inner ring just yet. I might do that this episode. I might not. I don't know. Um, all right, so issue... Okay, so we are on issue 11, <clears throat> and that's going to be the one that discusses the um, where the different tubes go. And let's see, do I have all my... I think I picked them up. I apologize for being so disorganized. Uh, okay, so here... Let's see, let's zoom out, not in. So yeah, we've got all of the pipes here that we're going to be installing. Um, you can also see here's the little levers that I have for the console, this console up here. And then we also have some uh, f uh, foam cushions for the couch, which uh, are probably never, ever going to get used uh, from this point on. And I thought, oh, there they are. It's right in here. All right, so we've got these pieces, um, and it actually talks about taking the hose off here and we'll go ahead and just cut all this off and I have to do some filing on this one since I did such a crap job at taking it off <laughs> Okay, the top part, it's actually pretty good there. Just a very light file there. Okay, now with this, this is going to go, let's see here. All right, so we've got a pin here, which is actually going to fit with this little piece down here. So. Let's go ahead and pop these out. Okay. And so I don't know if you can see, there's a little tiny hole in there. I'm gonna see if I can line this up. No, oh, it does fit together there, good. All right, so it's going to fit like this. Um, and then it's going to start something like this. I think it is a C1, two. I think the, the top part goes into the hole up there. And then this piece kind of comes around like so. Ah. Oh, did I? Oh, shoot. I thought I broke that for a second. This piece essentially just comes around back. Now, I just realized I'm going to have a problem with this because I don't have the pads in place. Now, this is something that's kind of strange. Oh, sorry. Um, actually, it does appear to line up quite a bit better when I have that inner ring in. So, hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I guess I'm going to have to glue that piece in. Well, I can leave it kind of like this for right now. Because um, I'm going to be weathering that pipe. And then there is another pipe, which is a white one. Right here. And then this little... Kind of the same thing, kind of goes around the corner again. Um, so 
sorry, I gotta reach in front of you guys there. So this is going to go like that and so I'm gonna cut the sprue off like right there and then go like that. I think that'll get more of the material. And there's already a bit of a wash on these pieces. And so I'm just going to go back over it with another wash. All right, so how does this piece fit on? This fits on inside this piece. So this actually kind of goes right in here. like so so you can see that and then we'll also have the other piece that kind of hooks around the back here so I'm going to kind of hold off on doing too much more with that right for right now um, the next piece we're going to need is clip off th uh, clip pipe three off the sprue pipe three is Pipe three is this big long one here. So I will clip that off. And then I think right after that, I got to clip pipe four off as well. So, well, actually, wait, where does this one go first? This one goes, okay, I see where it goes. All right, before it goes anywhere, though, it has to get a sand. And the bottom piece doesn't really matter too much. So this is actually going to fit in this hole. And it's basically just going to stay like right like that, I guess. Does it come down? Yeah, it kind of comes down in front of those pipes right there. Or, I'm sorry, in front of the um, the grid. Uh, I'll call it the, well, the grid ring, whatever. <laughs> and uh, now we'll do this one. Okay. Now this piece essentially just kind of fits up over top of this and oh, I am going to have to glue these pieces together. Yeah, because it doesn't really go into anywhere. It just kind of fits there and sits there, if you know what I mean. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and take the couch out. So put that in there. because I think this is actually going to make a lot more sense because there's actually a little groove here in the, uh, see if I can show you there. If you can see the little groove right there. Yeah, there we go. Um, these pipes are going to fit down into that little groove. <laughs> uh, do I even have it? Yeah, they're all the way in there. So I guess I'm going to have to glue these on somehow. So this will just kind of glue there. And then, well, hello. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. So that'll have to just kind of glue there. And then this piece, kind of the same deal. We'll have to kind of go over top and glue that. Now, there are some details that I want to inst or I want to paint onto these pipes first. So let's see, I just wanna see if, what other pieces there are 
there's going to be a there's actually a pipe right here which I think that goes in a little hole oh gosh in a little hole right there actually got a piece of glue sticking off my finger now there's a little hole right in the corner of this bed like back there by my finger and you can probably see it in the blur there but um, that's where that pipe will go and um, what's odd is it does it mention that yeah this issue doesn't really mention that um, so yeah so what I want to do first is I want to actually paint there's gonna be I think some red and white I'm sorry red yellow and blue stripes that are gonna to have to go on these they're really tiny stripes and I am going to need my small brush and and then I need to go get my reference so I'll be right back with that okay so I'm back and I actually have my iPad here and I don't know exactly how well you guys are gonna see this but this is a picture that I've kind of blown up and enhanced we can see there's a red and yellow stripe here there's another one there and then there's kind of another one up on top of there so I'm gonna want to try my darndest <clears throat> to get those stripes exactly where they need to be now I when I got yellow I didn't intend to get lemon yellow but apparently I did I'm not really <laughs> incredibly happy with that um, <clears throat> and then I do have just regular old red so that's good so I'm just gonna shake those up really quick and then I am going to, let's see, the first one is actually this big long one. So, I only have to get it only have to get it around half of this oh gosh I'm not filming it sorry guys okay the next one it's gonna kind of go right here Okay, then the next one's going to go kind of further down, <clears throat> let's say almost right above where the bend stops, so about, all right, I would say that's not terribly bad. <laughs> Now the other pipe, this one right here, actually has blue and red. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to, because one of the red stripes is actually about here. And I'm just gonna make another one kind of like up here. Though I don't know if there is actually one. I'm trying to go on really gently with those. Okay. All right. Phew. So that is all I'm going to need for red ever. So I can just throw this away. No, I'm just kidding. That is not true. However, I can get my blue out. Um, I have my paint thinner right in here. So I will... Get all this red paint out. You can't see what I'm doing, so yeah, I just have to promise that something is actually indeed happening. All right, 
so time for my le my lemon yellow here. <clears throat> so we will go dip that. Um, yeah, this one. This one seems like it's drying awfully fast. So let's try this. Okay. Now I'm just putting a really, really tiny bit of paint on here. Man, this detail is like so tiny. Okay. Phew. All right. Thin that out. And finally, we're just going to need a couple stripes of blue here, which will go above the red on these two. Again, shake up the blue. And um, Pretty dark shade of blue, actually, but it that's what it says just blue. So, I guess if you wanted to make it a bit more of a visible shade of blue, you could probably add just a touch of white to this, but I actually think that's pretty good. So, yeah. <laughs> on the uh, thinner bit, that's definitely blue. It's a nice shade of blue, actually. Okay. <sighs> okay, so let's go look and see what needs to be done to get the hall piece, the hallway. Well, not the hallway, but the... Uh, well, the, hard, the padded arch. There we go. And while that is... While we're thinking about that, the other pieces can be drying here. And those are in, never to come out. All right. Now, this, let's see here. i got to look. Because, again, one of the sides seemed to be a little bit better than the other. And I think it was this side. Yeah, I think so. So if I set this in, like so. What I could do is... Just align the front 
kind of align the ring in the front and then just glue it in from the back just put a couple drops of super glue in place which I think would work just fine and I'm just making ever so tiny little adjustments to try to line that up okay I think I kind of have it so let me there's a piece of cardboard I want to get a cocktail stick here and just try to touch it in a, a few key spots okay and I'm just gonna kinda hopefully you saw that I if you can't, uh, I'll try to, yeah, I just kind of put some super glue in a few key spots there, 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 and somewhere down here, I think, maybe. And once that sets, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, kind of thinking that maybe I should be a little bit more aggressive with it, though I get scared when I get super aggressive with glue. Now this part is pretty much probably never going to get seen. So, you know, if there's glue on there, it's not really that big of a deal. All right. So I want to see, so let's just set this in there for right now. Whoop, zoom out there. I'm going to look at my issue here. And uh, boy, this book's uh, nice and fu full now. It's got all 20 episodes. Okay, so hold assembly, blah, 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 clip number three, handle the perf. Fit the hook into the central hole above the door. Make sure it fits... Uh, as in step number nine, before gluing it in place, Roger. <clears throat> Align pipe three, where the door liner is fitted into the hold wall. Let's see pipe three. It says secure the top end only, and it's actually in bold right here it's talking about pipe number three secure the top end only with a drop of super glue okay and cut pipe four blah 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 all right so let's get pipe three in there first which is this guy and it's actually going to fit Maybe it's not going to fit Yeah, it is going to fit. Right. So what I want to do, I don't want to put the super glue on this. I actually want to put it in the hole. I always want to put it in the hole. Whenever possible. <laughs> uh, let's just get some glue on the end of this cocktail stick. Might be just a little bit too much. And is it going to get on there? I think this cocktail stick has seen its... seen better days. All right. Ah. Got to work quick here. Because I, I want that pushed over, and I want this in like that exactly like that 
Awesome. Got the first one in. All right. Next one is part clip pipe four. Handle the part carefully. It is as it is a thin molding. Test fit pipe four following the curve of pipe three. When you sure it it fits, secure the top end only with a little super glue. But I want to do it with a big super glue. <laughs> do you see what I did there? All right. So this is going to be a little bit different. It's essentially going to go right there. Now I can see part of that. Um, you can see part of the sprue bit. Can you see that where it needs to be filed? And I try to take care not to file the paint that I just put on though. This is the job for specialty file. I really like these files. I mean, look at that. It's like a three bladed tip and it was only like two bucks, maybe two fifty or something. So it was dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. Okay, so alright, I still have some super glue on there. So I'm just gonna dip it in. This is the super glue. I'm gonna line up whoops. I'm gonna line up the bottom piece first and then just try kind of lay it right over top like that and that my friends looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself all right airbrush you are getting unplugged all right <laughs> okay um, let's see what else do we have to do I feel like Celebrating. Um, <laughs> okay. Now we have this weird piece. So this comes out there. This just kind of goes up into oblivion, I think. Where is it? There we go. And then this. Let's cut off there. I need to put my sprue cutters somewhere. There's a nice big chunk of pipe or, you know, sprue. Actually, let me see if I can get any more of this off before I start sanding. I bet you guys that aren't like heavy, you know, hardcore model builders, or even if you've never even built a model before, let alone one of this scale, probably never thought that there was like so much work that goes into the, a model. Now you can, <clears throat> I mean, you don't have to do all this work. You really don't. Um, you can just kind of plop everything together. Now this piece I think is just essentially gonna sit there like that. Um, yeah, it, it sits there exactly like this. And what does it say <clears throat> about securing it? It says, clip the final pipe section five off the sprue and remove any surplus flash. The pipe looks like this. There is more a more complicated kink at end A, which is this end. So it's kind of flipped around here. So there's a more complicated kink there. Um, it says fit the pin into end A, into the small hole in the light gray instrument, blah, blah, blah. Um, hold assembly. Make sure that, uh, this is the reason. Okay. 
It doesn't it doesn't even say to glue it. Okay. All right. Well, doesn't it doesn't say to glue it, but I'm going to glue it cuz I don't think uh I don't think there's really any other way you can do this one. Um, so I'm going to get a little bit of glue on there. Get this all nice and gluey. And then let's just take this out for right now. Come on. And then this essentially just lays down right on top of there and once the glue dries um, it's essentially not going to go you know it's not going to go anywhere um, now as far as these go though um, I'm kind of at a little bit more of a loss as to how I want to do this so if I go like this so that goes all the way around there is fine. This one, I still need to get the little hook part, but this goes right in there and also fits all the way around like that. And then if I want, I can set this down in place like so. And then again, we can kind of start you know, assembling some of the pieces that uh, go in here, just to kind of see how they work. Now, again, there's a little hole. Let's see if I can point to it right there. Might have to blow up your screen or something. Uh, there's a little tiny hole there. There's a pipe that's going to go up there. Um, I don't think we use it yet because it doesn't say anything about it at this stage. Uh, we've got the couch right there. We have the, where's my degeneric table? Um, I had it out here earlier today. Um, we also have the computer console, which is still unfinished, which is going to go right in there. So we're, we're slowly but surely getting there. Um, you know, it's taking, oh, there's my degeneric table. Um, you know, it is taking some time. I don't know exactly which way this goes, so we're just going to set that set that there. It's taking some time, um, and I have been, like I said, I have kind of had to do some gluing off camera, or not gluing, painting. Well, probably some gluing too, since I I'm going to have to gl get glued here. Um, so I don't know. When I come back in the future, I may have uh, some more. Uh, painting done and some more gluing and uh, more assembly to go. Um, you know, we have additional wall pieces here. We have the, these pieces that are going to sit down in here. So I need to weather all these and, you know, and obviously the wall pieces and the pipes and, you know, so it's kind of like a never ending thing right now, but I'm actually pretty pleased with how this turned out using the uh, acrylic wash. Um, it's not, it's, you know, it's kind of like a brownish color, so it's kind of got that greasy effect and it, just, it does look pretty good. I am going to weather up these pipes a little bit more, but, um, I, you know, again, I'm pretty, pretty darn happy with the way things are, are looking right now. And then I'll come back, I'll finish up these little pipes you know, doing the little hook edges and things like that. And um, uh, so we'll have that for a future episode. So awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying me, uh, you know, watching me put this together and kind of seeing how this turns out. And uh, I appreciate everybody that watches and, you know, supports the cause. Hit that like button. Uh, please share, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So uh, this has been another episode of Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon. I'm Brad M73, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.